post-digital life hack, we're going to be giving you a can't-miss call from the Kim Commando Show that just lit up our weekends. You pay a lot of money to use the internet, and you wouldn't want anyone stealing your Wi-Fi. You could get into a lot of legal trouble. I'm Kim Commando for Keeper Security, the password manager accessible from any device. Get a discounted personal or family plan your first year at keepersecurity.com slash Kim. Someone just needs to be walking or driving by or live close enough to pick up your Wi-Fi signal if it's not locked down. Here's how to check. Turn off all your wireless devices and head to your router. Open a browser and type in your router's IP address. Use your username and password to log in. Find the section that shows all devices connected to your Wi-Fi. It's usually called connected devices or device lists. Now, if you see any devices you don't recognize, you could have an internet freeloader. Now, if that freeloader does anything illegal, from scamming others to distributing kiddie porn, law enforcement will knock on your door. That's why you must protect your Wi-Fi with a good hard-to-guess password right now. Enter to win a brand new iPhone 15 at winfromkim.com. Okay, as promised, here's a standout call for my show. Bruce in Chicago, Illinois. Hi there, Bruce. Uh, I was just calling to uh, ask you about, um, I got suspended permanently from Twitter for supposedly uh, using violent uh, rules against violent speech. And Mm -hmm. uh, I was just wondering if you knew anything about that. Well, what happened? Well, there was a video, and I commented on it. It was a truck. I think it was in England, and a truck was trying to get through a road, and these people were sitting in the on the ground. And then I just commented that uh, uh, run their A over, <laughs> and uh, they called that violent speech. And so now you're permanently banned from Twitter. Um, yeah, I'm permanently banned. I, well, I'm at uh, read only. And only so many tweets per day, mm. like 20 tweets or something. And then, so did you appeal this? I appealed it, and they sent me back a note and said that that wasn't good enough, and uh, you're still suspended. Okay. And I don't know how to get back on with them. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, they're probably not going to switch their opinion or sway their opinion or anything by what you say because once it's done, I think it's you get that big black check mark on your next year name and that's just going to be it. Uh, you know, some things that you could do is, I mean, you could consider creating a new account, but when you create the new account to circumvent a suspension, that violates all the Twitter's rules. So it's kind of a last resort and just know that it's, you know, it could have some risk involved with that. Uh, you might want to try some other platforms. There's Blue Sky. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about Blue Sky, but this is actually put together by Twitter's uh, Twitter's former CEO and founder, uh, Jack Dorsey. Now, it's, there is a waiting list for that. Uh, there's also Threads, and that's from Meta, and that traffic is down like 80% since launch, so I don't know what's going to really happen with Threads if it's a long-term proposition. But you know, that's one of the considerations when you get onto Twitter is that because you're not paying for the service, they get to make the rules and you have to live by the rules. And, uh, you know, if there's a protest, you want the truck to run over people that could can be considered violence and they want to, you know, basically get that off the service. Now, I know at the same time, you're like, well, what about all the terrorists and rapists and murderers and kiddie porn people that are still on the service? Yeah, I get all that. But again, you sign up for the service free they get to make the rules and what you did went against the rules so you probably are looking at maybe going to a different service like blue sky and threads and then just be more careful what you say in the future uh bruce thank you for your call hey cheers for being part of the listening squad now if you have something on your tech radar that you're dying to know more about easy peasy head over to commando.com click email kim now every email you send gets my full attention no kidding Now, when you're ready for no-fluff, just-essential tech stuff in your inbox, head over to GetKim.com and sign up for my free daily newsletter. That's GetKim.com.